Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here with another drum vlog. Today it's episode number eight, and we're actually going to be heading over to Staten Island today, at least for a minute. I have to go over there to pick up some hi-hats and possibly some other drums that I have over there at a school where I was teaching. Well, I still teach at the school, but I'm just teaching virtually now, so um, I have a pair of hi-hats there that I really want to grab uh, because I want to use them in conjunction with this new Zildjian A uptown ride that I just picked up. 18 inch ride. It's a really small little ride symbol that sounds really cool. At least I think it's going to sound really cool. I tapped on it at home but I haven't really played it on a set yet. But I watched plenty of videos on these things and actually this is the first Zildjian I bought in a really long time and I just really liked the sound of it. I thought it sounded really interesting and really different than a lot of the symbols that I already have. So I picked one up. I found one that was a demo model and it actually ended up coming from a friend of mine uh, I found it on Reverb, but I knew the guy selling it, which was uh, quite a coincidence, but he uh, basically was selling it through the music store where he works. Uh, so thanks, Darren, for that. He gave me a good deal. And so anyway, I want to get these hi-hats that I have over there at DEA Music and Art, which is a school where I teach, and they're these weird Camber Avanti hi-hats that by all you know, intents and purposes should not sound good, but they actually do sound really, really cool. And I think they're going to pair really well with this uptown ride. So I want to go over there and grab those. And plus I have some of my Brazilian drums over there, but I'm not sure if I'm going to grab those or not, uh, because I don't really have anywhere to put them. Uh, but I'll see how I feel once I get over there. But anyway, first I'm going to stop and get a cup of coffee at the Dunkin' Donuts drive through and then we're going to head over to Staten Island. So here we go. Alright, so I got the hi-hats already, and I was going to show you guys the inside, uh, but it's actually, I kind of illegally parked, so I didn't have time to grab my camera. But there it is, if you're interested in taking lessons, uh, there's DEA and the phone number, 876-5223. Uh, yeah, you can take lessons with me online if you want, uh, but only on Thursdays. I don't really do any other days, because I just don't have time. So now I'm going to drive back over to the studio and we're gonna check out these symbols. All right, I'm here at the studio. Time to switch out the symbols. Uh, right now I have my Minel Classics Custom Darks on here, uh, which are phenomenal sounding symbols. Uh, they sound really good, I have no complaints. Uh, they are pretty heavy though, so I kind of wanted to pair up the Uptown Ride, show you guys this, with some symbols that kind of match it a little bit better. Here's the Uptown Ride. And that's why I went to get those hi-hats because I think they're gonna pair really well with this ride symbol. So let me switch all these out and we will see what it sounds like. I think it's gonna sound really good though because I, like I said, I tapped it at home and I thought, wow, this the Mino Classic Custom Dark is a beautiful ride. Look at that thing. Uh, but this is really heavy. It's quite a heavy ride. Great for rock, you know, that, which is what it's kind of designed for. Oops. Uh, the Uptown is quite a bit lighter, darker sounding actually, even though the Minel is called a dark. I think this Uptown is actually a darker sound. So let's put that on there. Now you guys can't even see that, hold on. And I'm gonna do like some real miking too so we can you can hear what it sounds like really mic'd up. Let's put this down here. Really nice, really, really nice. Uh, it, I mean, 
it really doesn't sound like an 18. Like, it's amazing that it's that little. It sounds like, you know, it's such a low pitch, uh, which usually tends to be on larger cymbals. Uh, so it's really cool sounding. Anyway, I'm going to set everything up. And uh, actually, let me show you guys these hi-hats before I do that. So I talked about these a long time ago. All right, these are the hi-hats I want to use with the Uptown Ride. And I, I talked about these a really long time ago, probably uh, a couple years ago. Uh, these are really weird symbols. And I'm not saying they're good. <laughs> I mean, I love them. I think they sound amazing. But they're not worth anything. They're just really hard to find, though. Uh, Camber and Avanti are both two really kind of entry-level brands. I have no idea why there's a series that were both Camber and Avanti. Uh, but there are. And I've actually owned two pairs of these same hi-hats. Um, I had one once and got rid of them, got rid of them and then regretted getting rid of them. So I took like, it took me probably about six months to find another pair of active, actively looking. Uh, and they're just a really weird, you know, hi-hat that was made for, I don't know how long. I know very little about them. There's almost no information online about them, but they sound really cool. They're very dark, which is weird for cheap symbols. Uh, cheap symbols usually sound harsh and bright. These ones are very dark and they're very, uh, they don't have a ton of sustain. And they sound really cool. So let's put those on there. And actually they look cool too with the, the Uptown Ride. They have a similar look. That was another reason why I thought they would fit good. You know, they have this similar uh, color to them. So these are these Avanti Camber Hi-Hats. change out my crashes and on my right I've got another old camber this one is a brass symbol which you know a lot of people don't really like brass symbols but this one is really old this is probably one of the older cambers I've ever seen uh, it's probably from the 1960s and it sounds really cool it's got a you know it's got the typical short sustain that a brass symbol would have but it also has a dark wash to it uh, that I think will fit very nicely with this group of symbols uh, that I'm setting up here. So let's put this one on, hear what it sounds like. but uh, with this group, but I think it's the closest one I could think that I had that might fit. And this is a Sabian 18 inch ballistic crash. And this is another kind of really cool sounding symbol. They still make these, they're easy to get and they're very inexpensive. Uh, they're a B8 alloy, but they have uh, this cool hammering on them. Like you can see right here, it's basically like a giant ball peen hammer uh, marks on them, which gives them kind of a dark and trashy tone. So yeah, I think that's gonna work. Let's set this one up. Now see, the reason why I didn't just replace the ride is I like to have all of my symbols that I'm using at once to kind of get along with each other and have a, you know, have a similar vibe. It just, it makes things better, I think, overall for recording. 
It just gives a cohesive sound. All right, let's hear this ballistic crash. Yeah, I like this grouping. It's interesting, I have all 18s here. 18-inch uh, ride and two 18-inch crashes. But they all sound different. But they all sound kind of in the same, you know, in the same ballpark though, which is good. set up Reaper and we'll record these things with some real mics.
All right, that's the Zildjian A 18 inch Uptown Ride. I think that thing sounds really great. Really into it. It's very uh, dry, very dark. Uh, and yeah, it's 18. And that doesn't really bother me. I mean, it actually fits really well with my little Club Jam Mini kit. I could actually even move my uh, rack tom over this way a little bit uh, because there's a little more space there now, which I like. And it's very cool. And I think the other symbols all fit really well uh, with this one. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's going to be a really great setup. Um, I plan on using probably this setup to record with uh, some new hum stuff that I'm going to be working on because I think these are mellow and like, you know, they'll fit in well with the stuff that me and Chiaki are doing. And uh, yeah, I mean, just overall, I really like it. Uh, so I don't know, I might be buying some more Zildjans uh, here pretty soon. Who knows? But I'm digging it. It sounds really nice. So anyway, I think that's going to be all for today's episode, everybody. Uh, vlog, drum vlog episode number eight. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Spotify. You can check the links down below. You can either follow, well, you can follow all three projects I have down there. One is Demonic Sweaters, which is the main hub of music that I do. And then I have another project called Manasota, which is also all me, but it's more of a uh, kind of post new age is what I'm calling it uh, project kind of acoustic and electric but it's it's cool too it's experimental post rock a little bit and then I also have hums which is me and uh, Chiaki's project which is uh, more mellow and experimental with female vocals and uh, bass guitar drums and vocals and synths and stuff like that so anyway check out those links down below and uh, thanks for watching everybody hopefully you all have a great day and I'll see you very soon later